Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. In this video today, guys, I'm going to show you a project that's not really prepping related, but it's pretty neat alternative energy. And that's going to be an HHO generator. So let's take a look at it now. Okay guys, now to begin with, um, the reason that I've waited so long to show you this project is number one is that this company uh, apparently is no longer in business. It was hydrofficient.com. I got this about three or four years ago and the unit, I'll open it up here in a minute, but I just want to take you over a rough overview of how the whole thing works is uh, because I'm going to fill it up today again and uh, clean the uh, leads. But you can find some of these on the internet, and I'll uh, try to find you some links. First off, there's the power coming to this and the control module. And then from this, there is a junction box here where that it helps get a lot of the cables to and from uh, for power transfer. Uh, don't want to get into all that too deep, but anyway, uh, you've got your module box here, and I mounted that onto my battery box that was in my truck and I actually got rid of my windshield washer fluid thing so that was the only downfall of this to make room to fit it in. So here's the power coming in. Like I said, I'll open this unit up in a minute. That's a stainless steel casing. Now the uh, hydrogen that is made off of this that's uh, through hydrolysis that is removed from the water, the water actually looks like somebody has a urinary tract infection uh, or like really nasty coffee. I mean it's terrible looking water when it's done. Um, but it's just because of the hydrogen being removed from it. So anyway, that follows this uh, through this line here that I have zipped up. And it goes in and mixes in right there uh, with the vacuum for the intake. And so that's how I uh, fixed mine in. Now, they also made an attachment for this where the, the oxygen sensor for the intake and for your exhaust, it would help equalize out. Um, and I got, the when I first got this unit, and during the cold weather, you would get about 36 uh, mile to the gallon in the ballpark of that. And um, that lid's a little hard to get off because of the vacuum, so I'll get that off in a minute and show you. But I got like 36 point, uh, I think the best I ever had was 36.9 mile to the gallon. You might say you're lying. I don't care if you believe me or not. I really don't because... It, you know, for those that have experimented with this, know that it does help your vehicle irregardless. So even if you got five mile more to the gallon, it was worth it. Um, so what I want to do right now is I want to open this up, show you the components of that, and then we'll go over this a little further. All right. Now, as you can see right here down in the container, um, it's bone dry right now. I've left this setting for a while, so it's dried out. And what I've got to do now is, since I'm going to use the truck again quite a bit on the farm this spring, uh, going into the summer. I've got to clean these coals. Now, when I bought this from the company, it came uh, with a brush, and you can take uh, cleaning stuff for uh, brass and silver. You can just clean that up real good, and what that is, that is uh, silver and copper wire intercooled together, and the electricity is going into that. Now, you can build you one of these. I'll try to put some links to some good ones that you can build yourself, but then the wires join together through that. That makes the sail. And then what happens is when electricity is transferred through that, it starts the process and everything. And the only thing you really have to keep a check on is your fuse. And um, it's a really neat thing. Uh, I've really not found a use for it in the prepping world yet um, as far as uh, making fuel to run like a generator or something like that because you're using from your batteries. But now on the other hand, if you took solar power and you fix that up to something like this and then you vacuum that off into a generator I think that'd be a really neat setup but uh, anyway I wanted to show you this and share it with you because I thought it was a really neat little project these generators be careful with this uh, you know when you get this for your vehicle I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring some water in this thing so I can flush all that nasties out uh, when you build you one of these though be really careful um, and always make sure you keep your electrode clean because if you don't, it's just not gonna it's not gonna do fart. So where I've left this truck sitting during the winter time and that's gotten all corroded up, I just need to clean that, scrub that down real good again. And then whenever I take another trip here around on the farm, we're good to go. Also, another thing is to make sure that your leads, being that you've got electricity and water, you don't want to short out at the bottom where you tie in together. So you want to make sure and put your black electrical um, uh, glue over that. 
um, that liquid tape like I've showed you in a wind turbine build and, um, and make sure that your ports are clean that where you've got the vacuum coming out but it's a really simple setup and um, so anyway I will put the links in the video description below and if anybody's got one of these make sure to share the info with people and explain your experiences because I'm going to tell you it's worth your time so until we see you again here at 7 Trumpets Prepper Channel I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name